next, the Kings taking on the Warriors. For the Kings, tonight is a tough task. But in front of a raucous home crowd cheering them on, anything can happen. Warriors, Kings, tip-off coming up next. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and two Hall of Famers, Doris Burke here at the table and on the sideline, David Aldridge. D.A., take it away. Aaron Fox talked about his mentality on the court. You put the ball in his hands, he says, I'm going to take over the game. It doesn't have to be scoring, just always attacking, always. Got to be a dog. Don't back down from anyone. Kevin, I know you're a dog. Back to you. <laughs> a little intimidation factor, D.A. Thanks. And a quick look here at some of the numbers for Barnes. And the biggest takeaway when you look at his numbers is how good his three-point shooting has been the past five games. He's finding the open spots on the perimeter, and when he's getting good looks, boy, he is not missing. And now the Golden State Warriors starters. Curry and Clay, the Splash Brothers, in the backcourt. Green down low with Looney. And it's Wiggins in at the three. And for the Kings, to the point with Heel to his side, they're the backcourt. Barnes and Bagley, the duo with the forward. And it's Len in at the center position. Well, around this time of year, lots of national broadcasted games, Doris. Does that impact the players, you think, in any way? I certainly think the guys are aware of the nights they're on national television. Some guys relish, Kev, as you know, the opportunity to play on the big stage. So for mm -hmm. the, the regular season, those nights where you know the entire country is watching, that's a big deal. Now here's Len, six feet out. It's good. Yeah, uh, Kev, nice work in the painted area. Alex Len with the size and skill to do more of this. Healed against Thompson. Outside Curry. Outside Green. And Thompson kicks to Wiggins. Just five on the clock. Bagley with the block. Healed against Thompson. Healed the pass to Barnes. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Green dishes to Curry. And now just over a minute played here in the first. Top of the key, Looney. Over Barnes. The shot by Looney, no good. Boy, a miss like that will drive any score crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. Fox kicks to Bagley. Good, and a nice assist from Fox. Yeah, and Bagley has a, the reputation for showing variety. Can score in a different way on each possession. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for Golden State. Four-point game. They put up a nice win against Detroit the last time out. Well, they, they came into that game looking to be physical, looking to control the boards, and they succeeded. That control of the boards, I felt, fed their offense. There were a ton of second chances, a lot of confidence their bigs could dominate the glass. Here's Fox following the basket by Stephen Kerr. Shot by Heel, nobody around. Knocks down the three ball. And you've got to be up on Heald, especially when he's beyond the arc. If not, he'll burn you. Warriors have gone just one of four to get this game started. Curry passes it to Wiggins. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. On the wing, Thompson. Shot clock at five. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Here's Green. And the ball out of play. The Kings will inbound. Taking a look here at the numbers for Curry. Just an incredible month of basketball. Averaging 25 points per, seven assists and four rebounds. And he brings it for them every game on the offensive end. 
Well, I think you can tell he relishes this role, being the catalyst on the offensive end, night in and night out. Now here's Len. He's tightly guarded. Back to Heald over Thompson. Offensive rebound. Here's Len. That one rolling around and rims out. Warriors trail by five. Here's Wiggins. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. Listen, he's figuring out how to maximize his immense physical gifts. But Andrew Wiggins being aggressive on the drive. Now, here's Fox. Coming off a stellar performance against New Orleans. And the foul on Andrew Wiggins. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Heal. Curry with the steal. You love that defensive effort right there showing up. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Well, there's a number of ways Steph Curry can finish the basketball. He's got English. He's got touch. He's got just about whatever you need to draw fouls. And everyone loves to talk about Curry's offense, but he does enough doors to hold his own on the defensive end as well. Listen, Kevin, we know that opposing teams target Steph Curry on the defensive end. What you love about Curry is his quick hands allow him to come up with steals. Break. His Take competitive nature makes him bulldogish enough that he's going to stick with a player and try to bother their shot. The first free throw is good. I don't think it's possible to overstate just how revolutionary a player Steph Curry is because of the way he has changed the spacing on the floor. Never before have we seen a player who shapeshifts a defense like Steph does. And that is because once he crosses half court, you better guard him. The shot's good. And, and Fox starting to show you his abilities inside. It has quick instincts, which I think helps him when he's down low. And so Curry will bring it up for Golden State. They trail by three. And there's the pass to Wiggins. Fades. And he gets it to go. Hitting off the back of the rim. And with the way Doris, defenses have to adjust for Curry. It just leaves so much more space for the rest of the team. I think coaches, Kevin, because of Steph Curry's presence, they have got to change their defensive schemes, account for spaces on the floor that traditionally you wouldn't have to account for. That puts Steph Curry in a class of his own. Now here's Wiggins after the miss from Buddy Heal. Shoots from the line. Almost, but it rolls out. The Kings have gone 50% from the field to this point, four of eight. Bagley in the post, guarded by Green. And here's Barnes for three. The shot, no good. The Warriors go the other way with it. A three-pointer, Wiggins. Second chance shot. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. Yeah, coaches pet peeve there. No box out. And to me, Greg, this is a common theme that's running through the league right now. Guys looking to leak out rather than box out. Corey Joseph's checked in for Sacramento. What's up? Well, you have to be a fan of the way Kevon Looney plays, the former UCLA Bruin. He puts in the work on the defensive end, Doris, and it shows. No doubt. He has evolved to be the kind of player who is often asked to guard the wings, sometimes even point guards. Just think back to last year's playoffs. He had to guard the likes of James Harden, Kawhi Leonard, Kyle Lowry. This guy is so gifted as a defender, and he's only getting started. Clock is at three. Here's Joseph. And that one goes long. The Warriors leading. Green inside. Land on him. And that one, good. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Here's Curry. They get it back. Looney with the bucket. And, and loving the hustle here early. I mean, they struck first on the offensive glass. Here's Barnes to the left side wing. 
Curry against Joseph. Now here's Len. He's covered closely. Yep, that one goes. Heald's got five points so far. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Basket counts, and it's six points for Andrew Wiggins. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. I'll tell you, a terrific read from Corey Joseph. He recognizes the overcommitment of the defense and takes advantage. Well, some ups and downs for Marvin Bagley in that rookie campaign with the Kings, but you could see the flashes of potential and the tremendous work ethic when he was out on that floor. Jabari Parker's checked in for the Kings. Bogdan Bogdanovich comes in for Barnes. Free throws off from Bagley. And with Bagley, the mobility he showed for his size is really what impresses you. And that blend of size and speed is why many feel like he could play across the entire front line. Uh, wasn't in the rookie of the year race, but in a few years, he could be right there with the best of the best from that 2018 class. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. By Alitza, he's checked in for Buddy Heel. Curry against Joseph. Curry passes to Looney. Bagley with the block. And a skilled shot blocker to boot. Love how Bagley uses that height and reach to stifle shooter. Good on the shot. Well, you love the activity out there. What a play. This guy is busy on the offensive end. Curry on the wing. And it's Belyza with the foul. That's his first foul. And the next one puts him in the bonus. That's tipped. Stolen by Joseph. And the Kings pushing it up now. Joseph leading the charge. And the dunk by Parker. How about the timing, Kevin? That's just great execution. Jafari Parker send it in. The Warriors have gotten seven of their first 16 field goal attempts to go down here in the first. Pass to Wiggins. Wiggins drawn the double team. Here's Poole. Hands it from downtown. And the Warriors lead by three. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now here's Joseph. No points in the game yet for him. Bogdanovich looking around to the middle. Bielitsa inside. Covered by Wiggins. Bielitsa with the bucket. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. And so it's Wiggins with it. He'll bring it up for Golden State. Pass to Pasco. Back to Wiggins. Here's Chris, and it's wide right. It's off the rim. And I'm not sure that is a shot that he should be taking. Well, it's hard to imagine that the play was designed to go in that direction. Boy, I'd be surprised if we see that again. Now, here's Parker. He had 10 points in the win against New Orleans. And the other thing, guys, he really got after it on the backboards. What a complete game for this guy. Here's Bowman. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's on Jabari Parker. The Warriors shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. Shooting two. free throw no good Doris so interesting to watch seven footers who almost never shot three-pointers 
make that now a featured part of their game. Give some credit to the coaches who recognized the game was being revolutionized and that three-point shooting, regardless of position, would become integral to success. So a guy like Marcus Gasol, who actually fought the idea of taking threes, Brooke Lopez, Nikola Vucevic, all of them have become more integral to team success and more uh, capable NBA players because they can shoot the basketball. It's beautiful. It is evolving and adapting at that size has been something to watch. And it hung on the rim but wouldn't fall for him. Golden State's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Bowman, he's covered by Joseph. Has to pull, shoots the three, and it's out of bounds. Uh, they say it was last touched by Bagley. And here we can check out the story on Marvin Bagley. The past month has been surreal. Second in field goal percentage, and he provides that deterrent around the rim, ranking among the top 15 league-wide in blocks per game. And you mentioned it, he's the second-best shooter in the league right now. Quick trigger with just a little bit better footwork. He could take over that top spot. And at 6'11", Bagley is a huge target. When he runs the floor, it just makes everything easier. Now the pass to Poole. Higgins outside. The tray. Bagley with the rebound. Bagley's got four rebounds now tonight. Bogdanovich passes to Parker. That one falls, his second basket of the game. He's now two for three. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed ten straight points in the paint. Bowman passes to Wiggins. Stolen by Joseph. One-on-one -on -one here. Logdanovich, no luck. Boy, nine times out of ten, that's going in. I'm sure he surprised himself with the miss. Here's Bowman. It's deflected, and he recovers it. And it's Sacramento's ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Here's Bogdanovich. That one drops for him. And the Kings lead by four. I'll tell you, you allow him to get to a spot, and it's over, right? Defense unable to even challenge the shot. 1-11 left in the first quarter. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Pass to Pascal. Higgins outside. Shot clock at six. And the layup's good off the glass. Wiggins has got eight. Well, how about the aggressiveness of Andrew Wiggins? So good at fighting through the contact, taking the challenge of the defense. That's beautiful. Now, here's Joseph. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Bogdanovich left side. King's moving the ball around. Bagley, no good. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Bowman. He's covered by Joseph. Bowman passes to Chris. Here's Bowman. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. And here's Bogdanovich for three. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. Marvin Bagley has been on display for the Sacramento Kings. Between his points and his rebounds, he was a star for him in that quarter. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Steph Curry talks about the visual drills he does to help his playmaking in the NBA. It's a cognitive and neurological drill that helps you one takes your mind off the basketball um, because when you're in a game that should be the last thing you're thinking about there's so many other variables out there that you have to kind of survey you know where your defender is where your teammates are where you are in relation to the basket and your reaction so uh, those lights kind of train you in that that regard you have to you know see what the color is make a uh, determination of what move that that corresponds to make execute the move and then finish the jumper 
the, the improvement he's made, Greg, in his ball handling has really unlocked his game. I mean, able to keep his head up as he attacks off the dribble, read the defense, and drills like that can only help. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And for the Kings guys, what jumps out to you, stats-wise? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. I think across the board, a number of guys have done a great job guarding multiple positions. Setting the floor for the Warriors. They've got Marquise Chris, and it's Wiggins in at the three slot. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, after years and years of rebuilding, the Kings are finally a team on the rise, and they're earning respect. Raymond Green said they've got a lot of young talent, never quit, probably the fastest team in the history of the NBA. Green said after he plays them, I leave the game exhausted. I go home, I'm dead. And Kevin, we know that Green is pretty accustomed to going all out. David, he sure is. He's got a lot of engine in him. Thank you so much. Now, here's Bielitsa. He's coming off a 10-point game against New Orleans. Warriors trail by four. To the inside, Poole. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. As you and I were just talking about this as more and more players are going public with their trade request. Do you think that's had a negative impact on the game? Well, Kevin, I certainly think it makes long-term planning for NBA Shoot franchises two. a lot more difficult because contractually we are not seeing them hold true to the particular organization they may have signed that contract with. The reality is this in today's NBA. You've got to be nimble as an organization, and you have got to be attractive to them. And I mean that with great ownership, great leadership, and who are the players currently in your system. You have got to be incredibly nimble to be successful in today's NBA. I think you're right on. Here's what Sacramento's going with right now. Alex Len comes in for Bialitz, and it's Harrison Barnes in for Bogdan Bogdanovich. He hits one and misses one each at the line. And in recent years, some called the Warriors the greatest fast-breaking team since the Showtime Lakers. Doris, do, do you concur? Greg, the Showtime Lakers are my all-time favorite team. But I will say, because of the shooting, the ball handling, the passing, the capability on every possession for something spectacular, I would say that this team was as close as you can get to the Showtime Lakers. Here's Poole. Jabari Parker making his last shot. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. The Warriors have gone 5 of 7 from the free throw line in the game. And it's Fox with the ball for the Sacramento Kings. Parker outside. On the wing, Barnes. Back to Parker. It doesn't go for him. Great D that time from Green. He kicks to Curry. Golden State moving the ball around. The shot by Thompson, no good. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. Here's Bazemore. It's rebounded by Poole. The Warriors trailing. The shot from 20 feet away. Curry can't get it to go. Boy, he'll usually knock it down if he's left that wide open. Just comes up empty. Picked him clean. Here's Poole. He's covered by Bazemore. Poole, no good. It's deflected. 
Here's Fox. It's tipped. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. Here's Thompson. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. And that makes it a tie ball game. You know you can count on Draymond Green to make good decisions. This guy comes up with a lot of terrific assists. Parker outside. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. We call that a great contest. You know this is something he brings to the table, the ability to anchor your defense. Here's Fox. The Warriors making the shot. Passes it to Baseman. Pass to Len. Can they get it? The shot off that time, and it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Next up on the docket, the Bucks following this one. That game is the first and last of their homestead. Well, you get a sense of the recognition from Steph Curry and how quickly he moves through his progressions because, boy, if you're open, he's going to give it to you. And that's how you answer. I'd say he just one-upped him. Pretty good one there. These two guys really, really like going at each other, don't they? Sacramento making a switch here. Heald's checked in. And Golden State also making a change. Looney's checked in. A free throw off from Fox. Doris, such an honor to be on this with you, and, and you were the first female to become a full-time NBA analyst, uh, breaking new ground. You've accomplished so much in your life, personally, professionally. What would you tell young women who are graduating college, looking to get ahead in their career, and what you've chosen? Well, first and foremost, I've been very lucky, Kevin. The game of basketball has been a part of my life since I was seven. It's been a driving force. I love it. I would just tell young women, times are changing. Um, dream big. There's nothing that's impossible. And I'm so thankful to the NBA players and coaches who have just wrapped their arms around me from the time I entered uh, this business. So kudos to those players who are part of the change, no question. And hard work. I have seen you work. I have seen you prepare. No one prepares more. No one works harder than you. Thanks, Kev. Both shots good from the strike. The Warriors have gone four of ten in the second quarter from the field. And Thompson kicks it to Looney. Healed against Curry. The teardrop falls in. Curry's got six points. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Fox passes to Heald. Trying to get open his land. Heald can't hit. And, and got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. And it's out of bounds. The Warriors able to retain possession here. Here's Thompson, a 20-point game for him in the win against Detroit. And let's not forget about the assist. This guy, as a playmaker, was a driving force for that offense. Curry passes to Looney. Four on the clock. Puts it up from 15. Let's give some credit to the defense for how they're guarding this guy right now because they're refusing to let him get comfortable. Len and the dunk by Len. We've always talked about Alex Len's natural tools, Kevin, and he can assault the rim on a consistent basis. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. Oh, 
outside Curry. Back to Thompson. Pulls it up. The Warriors keep it going. A new 14-second shot clock. Good to see a player going all out when the game's this tight. You know, G.A., he knows what his job is. Patrol the offensive glass. And that's so demoralizing to your opponent. To play great defense and have the possession end that way, that's tough to take. Len's shot is off. Golden State's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Count that one. And it's a four-point Warrior lead. Boy, the ability to pull the trigger so quickly. Steph Curry doesn't even appear to set himself. If it's a clean catch, he's getting that shot off. Now, here's Fox. Checking some stats on him right now. He's averaging just around 22 and a half points a game. And so here is Golden State following the miss shot by De'Aaron Fox. Outside Curry. Bangs home the trifecta. Curry's got the lead up to seven now for the Warriors. I'll tell you, he's having his way right now in the second period. Forget the first quarter. Let's get to work. So the Kings call timeout. They're first. You know, trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, this is why you hate to lose momentum. It can be hard to get it back. Marvin Bagley's checked in for the Kings. Corey Joseph comes in for Kent Bazemore. Here's Fox. Will it go? Green with the block. Draymond Green twice on the pipe, sends it right back to the shooter. And it's Green with the jam. Adding to their advantage, trying to find a way to blow this one open. And Greg, one of the things they're doing is identifying favorable matchups and then going at them. Now here's Joseph. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Head really for a long time the specter hanging over Buddy Hill was he's the player who was traded for DeMarcus Cousins hard billing to live up to but he has made some giant leaps with his development and healed has slowly but surely turned himself into one of the elite shooters in the NBA and guys to be as locked in as he is from deep with, with his height and release is deadly he's the kind of player who gets better as his teammates get better around him and he is just now finding his stride and he gets the whistle two free throws coming up Harrison Barnes picks one up I mean even from over here you can see that one pretty clearly the Warriors have scored six points from their eight attempts at the line so far and typically a strength of their 79 percent on the season now here's Joseph Barnes outside. Over Green. That's good. And the Warrior lead is cut down now to just eight on the basket from Barnes. Golden State's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Higgins outside. In the air, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Well, with the first overall pick in 2014, Wiggins has some pressure on him, but he has steadily improved his play. That one is no good. Boy, for all the talent Andrew Wiggins brings to the table, you wonder what his assessment of the 2018-19 season is. Obviously, he took a step back in terms of his production, and I think that had a lot to do with his lack of consistency with his shot. He's got a ton of talent. Let's see where it takes him. And with Wiggins, Doris, and his struggles last year, he seemed to be relying more on his outside shot. You wonder if Wiggins feels the pressure of an NBA that now so heavily emphasizes that three-point shooting. But his strength to me is putting the ball on the deck, attacking the rim, and relentlessly going at defenders. He's got to get back to that. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. Oh, great ball movement there. The Kings trail by 11. Now, here's Joseph. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Barnes outside. Three-pointer heel. And it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got eight rebounds in this game. Yeah, they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really right from the tip. 
their rebounding edge right now massive. I think tonight is a great measure of Wiggins' progress in volume in a variety of ways. Now, here's Fox. He's got five. Joseph, the pass to Fox. Here's Bagley. Bank shot, no good. On offense, here are the Warriors. They're on a 19-6 run. The Warriors have been shooting right around 75% of the line, 9 of 12 so far. Well, we know Steph Curry is a lethal shooter. I think the underplayed value that he has is his finishing ability at the rim. He can get into the mid-range. I mean, you've got to guard this guy from every space on the floor as soon as he steps across the half-court line. Catching up on the changes for Sacramento. Bielitsa, he checks in for Barnes. And it's Bogdan Bogdanovich in for Buddy Heal. Now here's Curry. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 15 points. Here's Looney, defended by Bagley. Five on the clock. Here's Thompson. That's tipped. They recover it. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And the Warriors making a change here. And so it's Bagley with it. He brings it up for the Sacramento Kings. They defeated the Pelicans in their last game. Yeah, and, and the focus was to get stops. All game, they were right up on shooters. And that led to some big-time rejections. The best defenses do a great job of protecting the rim. That team did not give an inch. They defended and contested every shot. Yeah, Fox has got great leaping ability, and he likes to get up off the ground there for the flush. And there's a minute 45 left in the first half of basketball. Fox with the steal. Outside, Joseph. Back to Fox, and it's Fox with the jam. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the emphatic stump. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. And here are the Warriors now, after the Kings pick up two. 116 left to play in the first half. A shot by Curry, no good. The Kings trail by 11. Outside, Bogdanovich. Violetsa passes to Joseph. Left side, Bagley. Over Chris, and again, it's Sacramento converting. And we saw this from Bagley in college. He has very good touch around the rim. And so here is Golden State. Now Curry. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Detroit. And it wasn't only his scoring. The intensity on defense. He nabbed three steals that night. Now here's Wiggins. They have a nine-point lead. Just five to shoot. From deep three-point range, it's hauled in by the Kings. Next up, they'll face the Suns. That'll be in Phoenix. That will be a getaway game for them. A one-game road trip. The pass to Bogdanovich. Wiggins surveying the floor. Joseph with the rebound. Well, it hasn't been the most efficient game for this guy, but their team is fortunate to still be out in front. Bagley, no good. And so it's the Golden State Warriors in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thank you. Andrew, the energy and effort were apparent throughout that first half. How were you able to do it? Uh, we had a good practice, you know, working hard, really putting things together. But keep doing that and come up with a W. Hey, thanks for your time. We appreciate it. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Golden State found themselves in a close game in the first. Some good moments from both teams, but as the first period wrapped up, they trailed by two. 
in the second quarter, they turned on the afterburners, making a big charge to jump ahead and build a nine-point lead for themselves at halftime. Hey, big fella, what's your take on Golden State so far? What stood out to me more than anything else was how hard they got after it on the offensive glass. They were keeping possessions alive and converting those rebounds into points. Take away those extra points, they're not in this position, Ernie. And Kenny, what'd you see from Sacramento? Well, obviously, they didn't show up on the glass at all. They were getting outworked, out-hustled, and outplayed. And their competition showed just the opposite. They wanted it more. You can't give up a ton of extra possessions in a game like this and expect to win. And that's a wrap for our halftime show, the third quarter, just about to get started. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. Andrew Wiggins really making a difference here. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime, but he has the ability to answer right back. Warriors leading by nine. Barnes and Bagley, the duo with the forward. Box at the point with heel to his side. They're the backcourt. And it's Len in at the five spot. And that's the group for Luke Walton as we begin the second half. Now Bagley after the missed three from Clay Thompson. Here's Heald. Clay Thompson grabs the miss. Heald's gone two for seven, struggling a bit. Wiggins against Len. Outside for Curry. Let's the three fly. That's in for his fifth make of the night. Now shooting at a 50% clip. Five for 10. Well, I'm not sure there's a player in the league with a better feel for that shot than Steph Curry. If he gets it off clean, you know it's going in. Healed against Green. Back to Fox. A three from Barnes. Good and a nice assist from Fox. Fox has got three assists in the game. Golden State's gone one or two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Thompson outside. Poked away. It's going by heel. And here they come. Here's Fox. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And a moment here to check out who the Golden State Warriors have coming up. On Wednesday, they'll be matching up against Eric Bledsoe and the Milwaukee Bucks. And then on Friday, they'll be playing against Lou Williams and the Los Angeles Clippers. And looking at the Grizzlies matchup, this is one where it would take a complete meltdown for them sure not too. to come away with the win. Anything can happen, but I'd be shocked if they don't come out on top. And the first one drops. And how about the way Fox continues to improve his game? A, a capable scorer who also rebounds the ball well for his size. And still, though, he can improve on that perimeter jump shot. Fox hits them both. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for Golden State. He has a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, guys, one of the things that the NBA has been forward thinking about is always accepting new ideas. And they've got a bunch of them on the table in recent weeks. A mid-season tournament, a postseason play-in tournament, maybe even reducing the 82-game regular season schedule. Now, all of these would be very bold moves, but Commissioner Adam Silver has always demonstrated a willingness to think outside the box. Kevin? VA, great assessment. Good report. Thank you so much. And that's the thing about Bagley. Big, athletic, versatile, very hard to stop without fouling. And this will be his second and third shots to the line here.
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Bagley. And really, the potential Bagley has is so exciting. Just an absolute menace on both ends. And you can tell he wants to be great. And so Bagley nails them both. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. To the middle. It's Curry. That time on the assist by Thompson. Curry's got five points in the quarter. That's just a terrific pass from Clay Thompson. My goodness. And you look at the development of how Clay has attacked the rim over his career. What was once a weak spot for him has now become a strength as his finishing improves every year. You know what, Greg? You're right, thinking back to Thompson. He had his early struggles at the rim. And that's a distant memory for Clay now. I mean, he's dunking more often and with more force when he goes at the rim. It has made him an even more complete shooting guard. Parker's checked in for the Kings. Barnes hits them both. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Curry from deep three-point land. That shot off, and the Kings going the other way now. Outside, Fox. Inside. Tries from 10. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down to three, and the bucket from Len. Well, and it took a terrific effort at both ends to sustain this run. And, Greg, they found their composure on both ends of the floor, and that is what triggered this run. Here's Curry. The Kings getting the bucket. Thompson finds Curry. Let's a floater go. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got his fourth assist in this one. The Kings have gone two of four here to start the second half. Fox looking it over. Pass to Heald. Len down low. Looney on him. Just five on the clock. Heald outside. No good on the three. I know he's got to be frustrated right now, but the team is fighting from behind. He's got to stay with it. Curry passes to Looney. Some nice passing by Golden State here. They get a hand on it. Here's Wiggins. And they have their chances. Two offensive rebounds, but they still come up empty. And it's Fox with the jam. Well, I think it's fair to say that Fox is in the zone right now. An exciting player to watch. I just love seeing how he can take over a game with his aggressiveness. Warriors leading by three. Curry with it. He's got 20. Here's the three. Rebound by Parker. You will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. Heel dishes the land. Shoots a fader. And again, it's Sacramento converting. I like the shot mechanics of Alex Len. It's consistent, it's repeatable, and he's adding to his range. Golden State's gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. Here's Looney. He's got nine. Passes it to Thompson. Eleven feet out, and he hits it. And the Warriors lead by three. If he's not automatic with his jumper, it's pretty darn close. Clay Thompson, my goodness. Fox passes to Parker. Over Green. The Warriors pull it in. Green's got seven rebounds in the game. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. 
Now, here's Fox. He's got 13. There's the feed to heel. Curry with a wide open look. Barnes grabs the miss. Barnes has got four rebounds now tonight. Looking to get back on track here. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down now to just three on the bucket from Heal. Important points there. Got him on a nice play. Getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. So it's the Warriors now. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Here's Curry. Makes it off the glass. Curry's got nine points now in just the second half. What's incredible to me is the finishing ability Steph Curry has at the rim, oversized and through contact. Now, here's Fox. Has to heal. On the wing, Barnes. Covered by Wiggins. And the dunk by Parker. Well, long arms and great instincts make Jabari Parker a terrific offensive rebounder. Curry against Fox for the three. Again, Curry missing. The Kings trail by three to the paint and the dunk by Parker. Well, he's letting them know he's in the house. Parker playing with great intensity on the offensive end. And here is Curry. He's got 22. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Just feels like the basket is looking awfully small to them right now. They're having a hard time getting anything to fall. And some changes here for the Kings. Bielitsa, he checks in for Len. Ken Bazemore comes in for Harrison Barnes. And it's Bogdan Bogdanovich in for heel. Bowman passes to Chris. On the wing, Thompson. Lock at six. Fader on the way. The offensive rebound. Chris gets the bucket. Chris has got his first bucket in this one. And how about the timing on the backboards there from Chris? Has the size and quickness to be a problem. Now the pass to Bialica. to the wing on the left. That's a two from Parker. That one's not going to go. Great D that time from Green. Thompson in the corner. Connects from three-point range. And it's a six-point Warrior lead. Well, Clay Thompson's simply one of the best to do it in the NBA right now when it's a catch-and-shoot situation. Fox passes to Bialica. And the dunk by Bialica. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Well, credit him for going for it, not settling, saying, I'm going to attack. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And 74%, yeah, you know, so-so, he probably wouldn't mind seeing it a little bit higher. And that one misses. Well, whether you love him or hate him, you can't deny that Draymond Green is one of the more unique players in the league. There really isn't anyone else like Draymond. I mean, who does everything for a team but score? I mean, not only can he play all positions on both ends of the floor, but also to be the emotional leader, truly a special player. to Chris and stolen by Bazemore and Fox with a clear path to the basket and you, you have to have respect for his speed in transition Fox is a high octane player who explodes in the open floor and here are the Warriors now the lead is two Chris pass to Poole Golden State moving the ball around Six to shoot. Bowman, guarded by Fox. Jabari Parker comes up with the rebound. Sacramento's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. For the tie, 
Raymond Green grabs the miss. Green's got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. Bowman, guarded by Fox. Bowman passes to Green. Passes it to Poole. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got three assists tonight. Draymond Green is a top passer at his position, and he loves to get his teammates involved. Now, here's Fox. He's got 15. And here we go with Thompson running it up the court. Again, Golden State. You've got to have a short memory. Put a poor first half in your rear view and now make an impact. Now, here's Fox. Tight defense on him. Baysmore on the wing. It's rebounded by Golden State. Chris has got four rebounds now tonight. Thompson for three. Rebound by the Kings. Outside Bogdanovich. Back to Parker. Trying to find Fox. Gets it to him. Count that bucket. Fox has got eight points in the quarter. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. 136 left in the third quarter. Bowman passes to Chris. They get it back. He feeds it to Green. And it's blocked. And he gets it back. Back to Chris. Tries it again. One eleven left to play in the third. Here's Baysmore. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. The Kings have had 15 tries at the line. They've made 10. Big break. Big break. Two shot. And he makes the first. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. Marvin Bagley's checked in for De'Aaron Fox. And so Bazemore nails both of them. The Warriors leading. Not loose. Bowman. He's covered by Bazemore. Here's Bowman. And again, it's the Warriors missing. And the team has gotten it done here in spite of his performance. Still over from the field. Down low with a tie. And it's laid in by Bagley. Bagley's got 14 points for the game. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Now, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for, consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. They seem to concede that shot, and his response is, thank you very much. I always like to hold for the last shot right here. Well, that's great execution if you can do that because it takes any chance of momentum away from your opponent. This guy is a high flyer. I mean, especially for a power forward, and he needs to be as an undersized player. Now here's Thompson. Launches a three. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. Third quarter comes to a close, and a battle brings it to a tie. And time to step aside quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. Let's listen now to head coach Luke Walton review the game plan with his team. Good job so far. Good job. We got to make some shots. We're playing hard. We're making some tough shots. Well, Greg, he's, he's clearly appreciating the hard work so far. He, he just wants the offense to be better. 
Yeah, no doubt the defense has been impressive, but offensively, they need to finish off more of these possessions. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. All right now, a chance to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. Fourth quarter action, all fueled up and ready to go. Setting the floor for the Warriors. They've got Clay Thompson, and it's Chris in at the five, roaming the paint. The Elitza misses. The Warriors shooting a lackluster 38% for the game, struggling so far. Here's Poole. Rebound by the Kings. Hyalitz has got four rebounds in this game. Oh, the lob to Parker. They now take the lead. And the Kings lead by two. No hesitation at all on the alley-oop. Saw his teammate with a pass to the hoop. And bang, lobbed it right up there for him to finish. And he was ready for it when he elevated and made the catch. And Chris throws it down. Well, first of all, that's a great pass. But how about Chris with the vertical assault on the rim? Kings have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Bogdanovich against Thompson. Now here's Heald. Defense is right there. Misses in close. And it's the Warriors ball. On the wing, Thompson. Rebound by Parker. Parker's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Kicks it to Bogdanovich. Pass to Bagley. Five to shoot. That shot, no good. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Poole, the pass to Bowman. Smile each defended by Bagley. Thompson outside. Overhealed. And the Warriors get it back. And that's a good job of just getting after it on the backboard. Gets them another possession and allows them to run even more clock. And the dunk by Parker. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there. Sure. Then over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Timeout time called time the Warriors. And with a fourth quarter push coming up here, the coach going over the game plan and these players rehydrating themselves with Gatorade, recharging their bodies, refocusing their minds, and getting that strategy down to close out the game. Sacramento making some changes. Len comes in for Bielitsa. And it's Harrison Barnes in for Parker. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the break. He told them, hey, this game is there for you, but we got to go get it. 50-50 balls getting to the basket. We have to give it all right now. Kevin? Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. And they get it back. Man, how quick does he get off the floor? Chris rises high and sends it back. Boy, you have to be cognizant of where people are when the shot goes up. Defenders not blocking out in that instance. Warriors trail by four. Now Curry. High arcing shot. Yes, and the foul. Marvin Bagley picks one up. I think perhaps the most underrated part of Steph Curry's game is his physical and mental toughness. It does not matter the contact. This guy won't be denied. That's good from Stephen Curry. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Thompson against Bogdanovich. Len with it on the wing heel. The pass to Bagley over Chris. And the call will be against Alex Len. That is his first foul of the game. Way. 
And so it's Wiggins with it. He'll bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points to take the lead. And there's Stephen Curry on the assist by Thompson. Thompson's got five assists tonight. And he's finally getting the feel from beyond. His second three of the half right there. Whoops, they pick off the pass. And now Curry running the floor all by himself. And Curry with the stuff. Well, you know off any missed opportunity on one end, Steph Curry has got his mind on getting out in transition and a bucket there waiting for him at the end. Now here's Heald. On the wing, Barnes. Covered by Wiggins. Curry with the steal. On the wing, Thompson. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end, certainly. He cannot buy a bucket right now. Bogdanovich against Thompson. And Bogdanovich kicks to Bagley. Back to Bogdanovich. Down to five on the shot clock. The Kings need to get off a shot here. Healed with the bucket. Well, after netting one in the first half, that's the second deep ball to go down for this guy. Golden State's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Curry is inside. He's covered by Bogdanovich. It's good. Chris has got four points now in the quarter. And he's showing signs now of life after going scoreless through the half. Bogdanovich against Thompson. Healed outside. Pass to Bagley. Over Chris. Count it, and the Warrior lead has been cut down to a point with the bucket from Bagley. Uh, and that was the right call. When, when you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. Well, you've got to earn trust and equity by making shots. Nice delivery there. Here's Curry. Marvin Bagley picking up that last basket. Thompson passes to Looney. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. And the Warriors lead by three. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Len down low. Looney on him. Len's shot is off. Boy, against so little defensive pressure, you have to convert that. Curry trying to break free. Thompson misses. I don't know if he's tired or what, but he is definitely holding back a little bit, and he has to step his game up right now. Launches the three, trains it from beyond the arc. Thompson's got 12 points here in the second half. You know, put a rough first half behind him. He's absolutely crushing it here in the second. Barnes outside. Pass to heel. Six on the shot clock. Back to Barnes. Over Wiggins. Barnes can't get it to go. And they have built their advantage on the scoreboard here by doing all the little things. Warriors getting another chance here. A shot by Thompson and no one's around. Buries it from three-point range. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. Timeout called by the Kings. He does not look happy. Their defensive rebounding has, has been putrid, and they're giving up a ton of second-chance points. And now the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Steph Curry. Yeah, and his performance has been a jaw-dropper. He must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight. Because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. He's really seemed to feed off the hostile environment he's been faced with tonight. And it's the Kings with the ball. And here is Fox. Feeds the land to stop the run. Good and a nice assist from Fox. That's 12 points for Alex Len. After taking some time to find his rhythm, he's been unstoppable since the break. Warriors leading by seven. Now 
now. Here's Curry. Pass to Wiggins. Looney kicks to Wiggins. That one goes in. Yes, yeah, second chance points again. A huge problem for this team. The Kings have gone only 6 of 14 from the field in the fourth. The kick out to Barnes. Parker inside. Covered by Chris. Unloads from nine. And there are the Kings with another bucket. Golden State's gotten three of their six three-pointers to fall here in the fourth. And De'Aaron Fox gets the whistle that time. That's his third foul of the game. Fox against Curry. And there's the pass to Thompson. Lays it up and banks it in. Thompson's got eight points in the quarter. Boy, showing off his versatility. Clay Thompson attacking the interior of this defense. Now the feed to Parker. And the dunk by Parker. Yeah, he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two-hand jam. You know, obviously, it's been a tough go for Jabari Parker out of the gates in his career. He had to handle a couple of injuries early, but this is a former number two overall pick. And what we know unequivocally is this guy can put the ball in the basket. Can he find the right situation where he can flourish? Now here's Curry on deep. Len grabs the board. Len's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And it's Fox with the jam. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their four leader. Boy, and not just the aggression, Kev. The ability to get to the rim, but how about the finish with intention? <laughs> and for Parker, who has had to fight back from injuries, sometimes the motivation seems to be lacking. Well, Jabari Parker doesn't turn heads on the defensive end, and so that's part of what gets him off the floor at times. He needs to make sure that not only is he interested in scoring, but he's got to be willing to make stops as well. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Warriors. A two-point game. Timeout called the Warriors. And looking to stop this run and get back on track. Really needs to settle his guys down right now and get them refocused. Wiggins against Barnes. Thompson outside. Shot clock at six. Overhealed. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Sacramento's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory to tie it up. And he lays it up and in. Heald's got the game tied up here for the Kings. And yeah, that's about the worst defense. I can imagine a team playing coming down the stretch. You know, we talk about execution offensively coming down the stretch. To me, it's as important defensively, and they didn't have it. Here's Curry following the basket by Buddy Heal. You've got to find a way to get yourself going in some other way because hoisting from three is not the answer. Parker kicks to Heal. Pass to Len. Fades and shoots. Chris with the rebound. Chris has got nine rebounds now tonight. Got that one up quick. 33 points for Steph Curry. That's one of those clutch shots he's known for. When the pressure is high, he seems to be the most locked in. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. They're behind by three. A minute 42 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Heald. Goes to the reverse layup and pops it in. Heald's got nine points now in the quarter. Well, what a great setup by Alex Lynn. Developing such a good feel for the game. The Warriors leading. Here's Curry. Fox with a steal. Up top, Heald. To take the lead, it's deflected. 
Thompson outside. Jabari Parker comes up with the rebound. The King shooting at 51%. Really solid. And it's Fox with the jam. Well, the defense committed to Parker, so he beats them with a pass. Beautifully done. Here's Curry. 112 left in the fourth. On the wing, Thompson. And the Warriors miss again. Oh, rough shooting night tonight, but you can't fault him for the effort. Now he Barnes outside. Trying to get open his land. Not a piece of it. Thompson looking for an opening. Shoots from the corner. Warriors the rebound. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. He had a foul to give there, but you'd rather not have it cost your team points. Cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. That's good. Going one of two from the line, and that ties the game up. Well, a little shaky from the line, and instead of putting them in front, he's only able to tie it up. Fox passes to Parker. It's good! Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Big Greg, to me, more often than not, when you attack, good things happen. Timeout called the Warriors. They're trailing by two. 24 seconds left to play in the final quarter. 24 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. With the floater. The shot by Curry, no good. And you know they wanted that one to go down. Let's prove it time. Fourth quarter. Don't get it done now. No more chances. Yeah, you, you have to do that, though. You can't just let them dribble the game out. Timeout called by the Kings. They're up by two. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter. There's 14 seconds left in the game. And an intentional foul right there. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. He's able to hit the second one, and that makes it a three-point lead. We've got 13 seconds left in the fourth quarter. A three-pointer. Wiggins off target from downtown. From deep three-point range, misses the three. So it's the Kings taking the W in a close one. What a show they put on here at home tonight. I mean, these are those games that feel so great to win, and, and really, it's like a knife in the gut to lose. Uh, you you got to love being on edge of your seat and just wondering what's going to happen. How is this thing going to play out? And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Jabari, looks like you're getting back in stride, and you have certainly had adversity with the knee injuries the last few years. How have you been able to battle through them? It's been tough, to tell you the truth, but, you know, the race is not one to the swift, but the one to endure, so I'm trying to keep that motive. You have certainly endured and thrived, Jabari. Thanks for your time. Kevin, back to you. David, thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. See you later.